Hey everybody, IcyCat here, and for today's in-depth operator profile, we're going to take a look at the GSG-9 Defender Bandit. His electrified traps will make the attacker's job a hard one, and he has some pretty good weapons too. Let's take a look at all the best tips and tricks for using Bandit next. Bandit has some excellent weapon loadouts. He comes equipped with either the M870 12 gauge shotgun or the MP7 submachine gun. Both do really well in their respective roles. Since he's GSG-9, he only has the P12 pistol. It's a 45 caliber with moderate damage and really good ammo capacity in a double stack magazine. His choice of secondary gadgets are going to be either barbed wire or nitro cell. Honestly, I don't know why you'd ever take Nitro Cell with this character since he can electrify barbed wire and if he doesn't have it, he has to depend on someone else for it. I'm going to recommend that when you're playing objective defense, you go with the 12 gauge shotgun and the barbed wire. If you're going to roam, the MP7 makes an excellent addition as well. Bandit's shock wire is really useful for stopping enemies, but it can also short out any drones that come into contact with it, kind of doubling up like a signal jammer in a way for that. You can also damage players with the electrical discharge, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage as you'll see here. I take three points of damage for this. It's not a whole lot. Additionally, you can electrify reinforced walls. This has the neat effect of actually destroying the breaching charge that's placed on it instead of just rendering it inoperable like mute. He can attach his battery to any pile of barbed wire he comes across, whether it's his or one someone else's deployed. The battery can be shot though, so you need to be careful of that. Any deployable shield system that's put up can have a battery attached to it and make a trap that has to be vaulted for an attacker. Here I'm using the M870 shotgun with Bandit. I have to be honest, both of his weapons are really good. Uh, he's viable as a roamer or an objective defender and he does a really great job either way. One way that I really like to use him is to pair him up with Mute. He combos very well with Mute because you can essentially double your coverage area. If you have enough batteries, you can reinforce up to six walls with him. If you put it in between two walls that are touching each other, you can actually electrify both if you get it in the middle. So you can get up to six reinforced wall panels with three batteries this way. That allows Mute to go ahead and deploy his systems for drone denial or breaching charge denial on windows and things like that that are be covered by the wooden surfaces. Using this, you can really seal up an area from any breaching attempts quite effectively. As I said before, the interesting thing is that while Mute's jammers will prevent a breaching charge from going off, Bandit's electrified walls will actually destroy the item and remove it from that character's inventory after they tried to place it. It'll just go away and they won't have it anymore to use. The shock wire works very effectively, as mentioned before, to deter window breaches. If a player lands in it, they'll take some damage. It also works well to place underneath the trap door, so if they drop down from the trap door into your room, they'll land on the shock wire. But the battery is really easy to shoot when aimed at from above, and with the blue electrical arcs giving its position away, this will probably happen more often than not. All the surfaces, whether it's the barbed wire or the walls or anything like that, will throw off these electrical sparks, this blue arcing electricity. You'll also have the audio cue, which is the, the crackling and popping of the, of the electricity as it's running around the metallic surface. I think that the audio cue should suffice. The blue electrical arcs are way too visible. And as a result, nobody ever steps into the barbed wire. They see it from a mile away. It's very, it stands out. There's nothing else in the game that has that blue uh, light to it in that way and it moves around in that way everybody can see it coming nobody ever takes any real damage from it and speaking of the damage it's just too low when i showed you that clip earlier when i swung in through the window and landed on it i landed on the outer edge and i took three hit points of damage it was nothing i shrugged it off it's like it wasn't even there now maybe if you have to cross a barbed wire field from literally one end to the other you might take a lot of damage uh, i don't know i've never been dumb enough to actually try that and see and, and that's the point right there no player is going to willingly cross that as soon as they take some of the zaps from the from the discharge of that they're going to back off of it and shoot the battery and if your contact is going to do such low damage then you really need to up the damage to a higher level. Um, very few people are going to land dead center in this trap and have to wade through to the other side or, or we're actually going to cross through the entire field of it and take full damage. Everybody's going to shoot the battery uh, as soon as they come into contact with it. So I think if you remove that blue arcing electricity 
to make it a little less obvious and you also up the damage so that when players get into contact with it it does some meaningful damage you're going to make his traps a lot more viable every trap in this game is just way too obvious to spot um you know with blinking lights and flashing signs and it's they just need to tone that down a bit to make the traps more effective bandits most effectively countered by iq she can see his traps He's also countered by Thatcher, who can disable his traps with an EMP. Twitch can also roll in with a drone and use it to shoot out the batteries. But really, anybody with a line of sight on a battery can shoot it out as well. It takes one hit to drop it, and then the device is offline. Well, that wraps up our in-depth profile on Bandit. If you found this information useful, please go ahead and like and subscribe to make sure that you stay up to date on all the latest news, tips, tricks, and commentary for Rainbow Six Siege. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.